the truth lesson one is there a god god is evident in creation creation's beauty complexity and order declare the existence of god psalm 19 1 the heavens declare the glory of god and the sky above proclaims his handiwork psalm 19 verse 1 Isaiah 40, 26, lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. He who brings out their host by number, calling them all by name, by the greatness of his might, and because he is strong in power, not one is missing. Isaiah 40, 26. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world. In the things that have been made, so they are without excuse. Romans 1, verse 20. Romans 1, verse 20. The truth lesson two is there a god god is revealed in scripture scripture reveals god's specific character his ways and purposes psalm 19 7 through 9 the law of the lord is perfect reviving the soul the testimony of the lord is sure making wise the simple the precepts of the lord are right rejoicing the heart the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true, and righteous all together. The Truth Lesson 3 Is there a God? God is active in the world. God actively preserves and guides all creation for His intended purposes. Psalm 135, verse 6. Whatever the Lord pleases, He does in heaven and on earth, in the seas and all deeps. Proverbs 15:3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, keeping watch on the evil and the good. Psalm 15. That is Proverbs 15:3. Philippians 2.13 For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work, for His good pleasure. For it is God who works in you, for it is God who works in you. The Truth Lesson 4 Is there a God? God is accessible through Jesus Christ. Access to the true God is only possible through the Son of God, Jesus Christ. John 14.6 Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I am the way. John 14, 6, 1 Timothy 2, 5. For there's one God and one mediator between God and humankind. The man Christ Jesus, one mediator between God and humankind. First John 5.20 And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know Him who is true and we are in Him who is true in His Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. First John 5 verse 20